Yo, New York Yankees fans, how's it going? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola como estas? Manny Machado has a date with the New York Yankees on Wednesday. What does this mean? Does this mean that the Yankees are interested in signing Machado? Or is it going to be a situation where Patrick Corbin visited Yankee Stadium, they made a big fuss about it, and come to know the Yankees didn't really make an offer for Corbin? In this situation, I don't see it with Machado, but I do believe the Yankees are going to give him a number that really his agent, nor Machado, is going to accept. Hey, I hope I'm wrong. Manny Machado on the Yankees, obviously, he is going to improve this ball club. So with that being said, a name that's been floated out there repeatedly this offseason has been Miguel Andahor. If the Yankees are really in on Machado, you could see the Yankees making a deal with the Marlins where Andahor shipped over there and a couple of other prospects for Riomoto. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but the Yankees are in the driver's seat when it comes to obtaining him. The Braves have called it quits. The Mets just tapped out. It's going to come down to the Dodgers, Rays, and the Yankees. As I have stated numerous times on this channel and on my website, n1news.com, I believe Gary Sanchez as DH or platoon catcher would have a monster year. Obviously, he could not catch a full season without his body breaking down. I mean, it's obvious. Gary Sanchez is a great player. You could argue he's a great catcher with a great arm, but he cannot sustain a full season, especially now since the Yankees are acquiring new pitchers for their rotation and bullpen. Pitchers on the Yankees have said numerous times that they are scared to bounce a ball into the ground with Gary Sanchez catching. So a player like Riomoto would improve the Yankees drastically because he's ranked number one out of all the catchers in MLB as the best catcher in Major League Baseball. I've seen numerous comments here and there on Twitter, on YouTube. Oh, Riomoto sucks. Oh, no, he doesn't. Defensively, he is going to improve any ball club that makes a trade for him. Are the Yankees smart enough to make a deal like this? Where, let's say, they're 100% in on Machado. They use Andahar as a chip to trade for Riomoto. I could see something like that happening if the Yankees are 100% on board with signing Manny Machado. They seem hell-bent on sticking with Floreal. They see Floreal... In becoming a better player than Andahor. We all saw Andahor has proven he could hit on the major league level. But defensively, you know the Yankees are an analytic team. They're not confident with Andahor's defensive skills. And the same could be said for Gary Sanchez. Gary Sanchez, I mean, if you're going into the season saying that Gary Sanchez is your catcher and you have a whole bunch of new pitchers on your ball club, Gary Sanchez having a history of past balls and breaking down, he can't catch a full season. I mean, if you ask me, the Yankees need to go out there and get a catcher. It's one of their necessities, but I don't see people talking about it. But it's quite obvious that the Yankees need to upgrade defensively behind the plate. And Riomoto will give you offense as well. I really hope that the Yankees are 100% in on Machado and it's not a smokescreen. It's not a ploy to, let's say... Tell your fan base, hey, we tried. And then when you look at the details, they offered him a number that he would obviously not accept. I hope that's not the case. I hope the Yankees are 100% in on Machado. And like I said, if this is the case, I don't see Andahor being on his ball club in 2019. I see him being flipped for either a catcher or a starting pitcher. So, Yankees fans, Wednesday is Manny Machado Day. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. What do you guys think? You think the Yankees are 100% in on Machado? Or is this a smokescreen to, let's say, have their fan base shut up and say, hey, we tried? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And also, tell me what you guys think about other teams falling out on Riomoto. And if it's possible that the Yankees are front runners for him. Maybe second or third. Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from MLYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe. And I will check you out next time. Thank you.